What is going on guys, this is Chaotic Videos and today I'm actually going to show you how to improve your PC performance. Many of my fellow gamers um, cannot actually play many of their games because their PC is lacking. Even though they may have the best setup, you never know what could be lying in your PC. It could be some junk files, could be some virus programs, could be anything guys. So uh, make sure you clean your PC regularly. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you these steps. First, go ahead and uh, go into Start menu and click Run. This should work with any Windows. And what you're going to type in is percentile, T-E-M-P for temp, and then end it with a percentile. And then go ahead and click OK. Once you do that, you're going to open up this folder. And yours might be smaller, might be bigger, you never know. I actually have not done this at all for a while, so I decided, hell, it's time for a, a cleanup on my end as well. These are all temporary files and folders that are not needed on your PC. And they pretty much just slowing down your PC for no reason. Um, it's always good to do this step at least once a week, if possibly even more. Um, what you want to do, you can right click, you can, uh, actually you can just pretty much drag and select, the, select them all. Or you can also uh, control A and that'll actually collect them all. And go ahead and right click and delete. Ooh. Yeah, it's counting up all those files. See, already 153 megabytes of unwanted files. And there it goes skyrocketing over one gigabyte. 20, I'm actually surprised myself guys. I had over 20 gigabyte of unwanted files. Yikes. This is what you get for being a YouTuber and not really paying attention to your uh, PC. Uh, for any files I weren't able to delete, just go ahead and click skip them. Um, you don't have to delete every single thing, but the majority of it, that's good. Looks like it deleted 30,034 items. Alrighty, good. It is done. There's still some files left, but no issue there. Alright, step one complete. Time for step two. Um, same as last time, go ahead and click run. And this time we're going to um, put in pre, P-R-E. Fetch, F-E-T-C-H. Go ahead and click continue. And just like last time, these are all unnecessary files that you can happily delete. So, critical A. Right click and delete. And you can skip the ones that weren't able to. All right, step two complete. On step three, go ahead and just like always, go ahead and click run. This time we're gonna click ms config c o n f i g and click enter. Now uh, this should work with all Windows. On uh, Windows 10, it is a little bit different, so I will show you. Um, alrighty, go ahead. Um, here you can actually just uh, set up your setup if you wish, but you really don't need to mess with this. What we want to go to is boot. Um, as you can see, it says Windows 10 right here. Um, the timeout, you can actually change that to, I uh, believe, 5 if you wish. Go ahead and click Apply. And then go uh, over Windows, your operating system, click Advanced Options. Uh, check number of processors and make sure that is on the highest. That will actually increase your boot time for your Windows. Alright, once you're done with that, still staying in the MS config, uh, you're going to look at services. Here you can actually disable and enable services that um, you wish or wish not to have. Um, let's see some simple ones, which I'll just show you. Uh, fax, if you wish to have that. Uh, you can also sort it by manufacturer, which might be easier. If you don't want um, Adobe Acrobat update services on, just go ahead and turn that off. Um, of course, I really don't. I'm not gonna really turn off anything yet. Um, some Apple products, BlueStack, which actually, well, 
Now nah, I'll also keep those. But pretty much anything you don't wish to have open, go ahead and uh, uncheck it, and uh, or check it and uh, disable it. Um, please do not disable anything you do not know what it is because that could harm your PC, guys. All right. Next, go ahead and go to startup. Um, everyone except for Windows 10, I believe it should show up on here. But for Windows 10, you have to click Open Task Manager, and it should look some like this. Other Windows users should have a similar page. Um, to easily actually uh, manage this, go ahead and click Startup Impact. Check that, and it'll actually show the thing that's most infecting or most affecting your PC startup speed. For me, it's foreign control plugin, which I actually do not need. So we're going to go ahead and disable that. We have Logitech web camera uh, software, which I um, don't really need that right now. Um, Sound Blaster, I'll keep. Razer, I'll keep. Network manager, I will keep. Some other things. All right, yeah, that looks like that is pretty much the only thing. You can also check which is enabled by um, clicking at its statuses. Uh, just pretty much disable anything you really don't need on the startup because that will slow down your PC. <clears throat> All right, guys, next one is going to be same thing, MS config. And go ahead and go to tools. Under tools, go to change UAC settings. Once you do that, go ahead and launch. Here, um, sometimes you may get notifications for no reason for like very minor things for um, installing simple apps and whatnot. If you wish, you can actually minimize that notification or maximize it if you want to be even more safer. I like to keep it somewhere around here. All right, once that's all saved, apply and OK. Um, we're going to actually restart later on. We still have some more steps to do. Next, guys, the next step is going to be search and go to display settings. Alrighty. Now, once you are in here, um, I'll go to notifications and actions. Um, if you wish, just go ahead and turn off. Oops. I should not keep those. Turn off everything except for show app notifications if you wish. Um, you can also turn off everything. It's no issue. Um, the reason I have this on is because in case I get a message from Facebook, Twitter, etc. Uh, but yeah, you can go ahead and turn those off. It'll actually speed up your PC a bit. Next, under apps and features. Uh, here you can actually uninstall apps you do not need, such as if you don't need uh, Adobe Photoshop or um, APB Reloaded PC game and uh, many other stuff. Uh, then you go to multitask and um, this actually leave this alone. It's always better to manage that. Uh, tablet mode, go ahead and turn that off. Um, unless you happen to have a PC tablet. Um, power and sleep, when plugged in, never. Storage. Um, ignore that. Offline maps, make sure these are turned off. Default apps, you can go ahead and set these um, apps whichever default you wish, such as photo viewer, music player, uh, video player, and web browser. And then you have the about, which just shows you information about your PC. Alright, once you do that, on to the next step. Go to search. And what you're gonna type in is power options. Here guys, whether you have a PC or a laptop, or sorry, a desktop or a laptop, you can actually adjust the power options. I like to keep mine at high performance because that will increase um, the maximum efficiency of my computer. Of course, it will consume more power, so you might get a higher electricity bill, so be careful about that. All right, next up. Going to be go to my computer or this PC if you're Windows 10 and I believe 8.1. Right click more and properties. Yours just should be right click and properties. Once you're there, go to, 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 to advanced system settings. 
Once you're in here, go to Performance, Visual Effects, Process, Scheduling Memory Usage, and Virtual Memory. This should be in the Advanced tab. Go to Settings, and here you can actually adjust your PC for the best appearance or for the best performance. Let me actually show you what happens if I do it to the best performance. Alright, it looks like it did not affect it that much. If you're um, anything other than Windows 10, you're going to have a nice little, pretty much 1990s style um, Windows mode. It's going to run more faster, but of course, even with this, it will still run faster. Um, this actually, um, animations in the taskbar are not enabled. Fade or slide menu, uh, menu into view. Pretty much basic things like that. Um, I have a pretty decent PC, so I just um, let it let Windows choose the best. But yeah, just go ahead and set that to performance, and it should be good. Next off, in the same exact area, guys, go ahead. Well, actually, never mind. Scratch that. Next, you're going to go ahead and go to My Computer. And right-click on your hard drive that has your um, system on it. And in here, guys, go ahead and go to Disk Cleanup. Click on that, and that will start actually cleaning up your PC, um, depending on if it's first time using it or multiple times using it. Um, it'll be fast or slow. Um, this, once it actually finds all the files that you need to delete or that are slowing down your PC, click on them and click Delete. And last but not least, what are we going to do without a antivirus? Um, I actually recommend Malwarebytes anti-malware program. And I'll actually leave the link in the description for this program. Um, it's actually free. There's also a pro version that it's actually live. The free version, you have to manually do it. But this is one of the best uh, antiviruses I have found because it detects very very unique hard to find viruses that many other antiviruses cannot go ahead and scan that you can also do a threat scan custom scan and hyper scan as you can see disk cleanup did find some files uh, go ahead and select all these okay um, aside from the recycling bin which is the ones we actually deleted earlier um, it actually found a good 1.6 gigabytes of uh, actual uh, random stuff that you don't need. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up system files. And once you do that, it should start cleaning it up. Uh, yours might take about half an hour, um, depending on your PC performance, maybe a little bit longer. But all in all, the longer you wait, the more it finds. So that's actually good. Alright, it looks like we did delete some stuff. More stuff was shown. I'll go ahead and delete that later. Uh, too much work for that right now. And yeah, guys, that is about it. I hope you did enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions or complaints or concerns or anything, guys, just go ahead and put them down in the comment section below. You know me, I try to get back to you ASAP. And yeah, hope you like my videos. See you, folks.